Dr. Davis, Sheila Davis, and I are members at St. Vincent's Parish up the street, and we met um, oh, a long time ago in the 90s, and in 1999, we got together and started the clinic, and we were very small when we started, and we wanted to offer services to the people of the Germantown community who had no health insurance. We started very small with just our stethoscopes, knew that we wanted to offer a different kind of health care, high blood pressure, diabetes, a lot of depression, cardiac related illnesses, um, asthma. So we do, we do all of the family practice stuff in here and we see our patients frequently. Um, they come back to us probably every, every three months or so and we keep we keep a real tight control of their blood pressure and their diabetes because we know that that prevention is, is the key and we get very good results. In a typical week, I think we see probably about 50 to 60 patients and um, we're open Monday through Thursday from nine to four and there's usually two to three of us seeing patients at the same time. We also do administrative work and fundraising and all of that um, and we give the, the medications for free to our patients as well so a typical visit can run anywhere from a half hour to an hour, depending on what's going on. In fact, we have a gentleman now sitting in the room who came in with his blood pressure high, and we're, we're letting him sit there and sort of relax a little bit, and then we'll go back in. And we have a pharmacy upstairs, which I can show you in a little bit. Um, and we count out all of the medication that we get. We get a lot of our medication from free through the pharmaceutical patient assistance programs. And if our patients, if our patients qualify, they, they can obtain free medication. We get our funding through um, grants and private donations. So um, we, you know, we put out a newsletter once a year and, and a couple uh, fundraising letters. Well, I think for both Michelle and I, uh, when we went into medicine, we both went in with the same uh, underlying reason was to really serve those who were in need. So when we saw the need of uh, the uninsured, uh, that, that they're the ones that fell through the gap. You know, even medical assistance, you can get health care. But those who don't have insurance really put off getting health care until they were very sick and they really weren't getting any preventive services and they weren't being maintained as far as their good health. So when we saw that need, that's where we decided that that was the gap for the working poor, for the, you know, those who are underemployed, who really live on the edge and they're the invisible. And again, we were, we were members of St. Vincent de Paul Parish, so we were really in that Vincentian charism of wanting to serve those who, who were really in need, who people really just overlooked. You know, society marginalizes a lot of people because they're not out there visible in the, uh, in the numbers who vote or who get attention. Phone calls for new patient visits uh, increased dramatically. And part of our financial uh, need at this point is because our resources um, are always stretched. You know, we, we've always sort of run on the edge because we don't have a lot of staff who are, who are doing the fundraising, we're doing it ourselves. Again, we provide medications, we provide subsidized labs, so we do pretty much everything that people need regardless of their ability to pay. You know, we always have been able to provide our patients with the care that they need, and that's the primary, primary goal and mission of what we do. If you would like to support this program or one of the many we support, click on St. Vincent de Paul's circle Help us help the poor.